welcome back everyone to King Win Pro League 2015 for first season. We're three matches in the playoffs at the moment. It's been very quick. Again, like I want to repeat this because the, the players of, who have won have won very convincingly in their series. Yeah. 4-1, 4-0, and 4-1. Yeah. That Calento. was the matches so far. So we are half in the tournament yeah. because we have uh, this semifinal left, then the third place match. And then the grand final. Exactly. Next up is going to be Life Code versus Show for the second semifinals match. And then we'll have the third place match between Show or Life Coach and uh, Strife, Crow. Strife Crow, who just yeah. lost to Calento uh, 1 to 4. So Life Coach or Show is going to get to the finals. Either of them will. And otherwise, one of them, they're going to battle for third place, which still I think they do get a prize for third place. So it's yeah, still yeah. something to strive for. That's a difference between exactly. the prize pool for yeah. the third and the fourth. And also, I think it's. It feels better to be on the podium, right? Sure. Like if you end up in top three, it's just for the for, for the sake of it, being in the top three of the, the entire league. Yep. So life coach versus show. Now life coach, I want to talk about him a bit because he's been very consistent in his KPL play. Um, I have to give him props for that because he's been the most predictable player as far as the deck list. Not the deck list, but the classes that he brings. Mm -hmm. Yet it doesn't seem to make a huge impact on his yep. ability to win. When when I watch life coach um, when he's playing. I feel like he makes the less, least mistakes I ever seen when it comes to a player. Like it, it feels like almost flawless every single time. Even though you know, you know, he ropes every single. Yeah, turn. of course he does but rope, but that's the reason. Maybe. He thinks about every single possibility and then it takes the best route, and it seems to working. It yeah, seems I mean, to working. He takes his time and. As a result, I think, and it's interesting because whenever a new variable comes into play, he has to reanalyze the whole thing because everything he thought about is suddenly not necessarily relevant anymore. So he ropes again. Yeah. He ropes again. <laughs> he reevaluates, but it works because two turns down the line, every single time he seems prepared. Um, unless RNG, like sometimes you see RNG hit and he's just like, he laughs. Yeah. Uh, because he's like, well, that's one thing I could not have predicted. And you, you can tell that he takes it pretty well. So very consistent player. Uh, he, if he really likes his handlock. He really likes his handlock, and he will be using Warlock today. Okay. I guess it might be handlock, I would say. I would say it's handlock. I don't know how he tweaks it, um, mm -hmm. because like, I know he's playing Warrior as well. I don't know if he's playing Grim Patron, but I he told me he was. I bet he's playing Grim Patron, because he was testing it exten yeah, extensively uh, last time on, on stream. Okay. So I guess he would be wearing it at. And I think, he I think he agrees with other players that here that Grim Patron is one of the best archetypes right now and it's a new one so it's not guaranteed that your opponent will know how to play against it yeah it's still very young as an archetype yeah. like it, given two weeks or so maybe a counter play like a counter deck will come out and it'll just be oh well grim patient is not that good like mm -hmm. it's it's gonna just be figured out and everybody will play the counter deck but for the time being it's pretty much at the top of the ladder like yeah. it just does amazingly well um, and it's incredibly fun to play yeah which is which makes for a difference like there's a lot of Kind of like Miracle Rogue, a lot of people said it was, you know, uninteractive. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it feels a bit like that with Grim Patron, but the fun that you get while playing the deck is definitely up there. You know, so. you know what, with the new decks now, yeah. I had the most fun for a long time ever in the Hearthstone. Like the Grim Patron one, yeah. and then the Flame Waker deck. Because I built one with, 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 <laughs> yeah. with, yeah, with Flame Wakers, Knife Jugglers, Unstable Portals, <laughs> Spellbender. I was playing that on ladder <laughs> oh my while God. streaming. It's really hilarious. When you use uh, uh, mechanical yetis for the spare parts, so yeah, the yeah. spell banner activates, activates the spare, Yeah, the spare yeah. parts, when he plays them and you just steal it, you're like, thank you for the 2 3 minion, by the yeah. way. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, that's, that's got to be pretty fun. It's just like there's so many interesting cards now that you can build. Uh, very few of those interesting cards um, will make it to a competitive deck. And Grim Patron has the chance of being both fun. Mm -hmm. and well-designed mm -hmm. enough yeah. to be fitting in an archetype. It's just yeah. like the perfect mix. And uh, everybody's playing it pretty much at this True. point. So Everyone and their mothers. Hi, yeah, you? Uh, I mean, uh, everybody plays it. Yeah. yeah. Our RDU's mom probably plays it too. So our lineups today, Life Coach is playing Druid, Mage, Warlock, and Warrior. Yeah. Show is playing, well, we already saw his, uh, his, his lineup, lineup, so right. it doesn't really change. It's Hunter, Mage, Warlock, Warrior, and that's it. Both players are playing three of the same classes, Mage, Warlock, Warrior, where Show is playing Hunter, um, Life Coach is playing Druid. We know yeah. Show is playing Face Hunter. So generally speaking, like against something like a Druid, um, how do you generally look at the matchup? I think Druid is not, a, is not such a bad matchup. Uh, I mean, the Face Hunter for the Druid is not such a bad matchup. Okay. If you get the Innervid Keeper, 
Mm, practically. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty specific combination, but you do have ways to wipe the board. It's just that now that the metagame slowed down a bit, mm -hmm. um, nobody plays Root of the Flame anymore. And I think that for a little while, while Face Hunter was like the reason why Face Hunter got phased out, mm -hmm. I feel for about a week is because everybody was taking against it, and people got tired um, okay. of getting countered by it. So like double zombie chows, double druid of the flames. For for a while, that's what we saw. Like for for a little bit, at least one zombie chow, two flames, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. the regular deck that won against control. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll have to see. Yeah. Like, um, life control is a is known for tweaking the decks yeah. against the current meta game. Well. So I assume he can make the Druid deck more greedy in the current meta game than the usual one. Uh, but we'll have to see on our own eyes here. Yeah. Play Nefarian and Druid, that'd be the, the dream. Uh, now in the meantime, I want to remind you that if you want to vote to, for your faction that you want to support, whether it's Horde or Alliance, on Twitter, hashtag KPL Alliance, hashtag KPL Horde will give the support. It's 50-50 right now. 50-50? Um, yeah, 50-50. You lost a bit of points. I mean, I, I guess uh, show is probably going to be... You know, people are rooting for show. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, well, you are his teammate. So I, okay. I really like show. He's actually a really nice guy. Um, yeah. And I don't know him, like, so personally, much personally. Yeah. Like, we just shake hands. Yeah. And we say hi-hi to each other. Uh, but at least he's shaking my hand, so that's it. Yeah. Uh, see, that, that's better than some players do in, a, in other <laughs> competitive environments. So Life Coach's first match is going to be Warrior. Uh, first deck, that is, it's going to be Warrior versus Show's Mage. Now, we saw, we saw Show's deck earlier. It was a Mech Mage. Uh, yeah. Versus, so uh, he won versus Hyped. But now when you face, I would guess, a Grim Patron, it's kind of the same as um, Grim Patron against Zoo. Yeah. So you need the weapons. Right. Frauding Berserkers if you get the weapon for turn 2 and Death Spite is also great. The only problem that you can um, like meet against the Mech Mage is the fact that he runs Anorotrons. Right. And those Anorotrons can just steal the durability points from your weapon yeah. so they'll be not so efficient anymore. Like they're fun to face off against when you're ready to unleash the patrons, but until you have the combo for charge, the, the Anorotron is a complete waste of your energy. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and, and the same is true with Snow Chugger. Um, that yeah. deck has no shield slams, so it has no to rely slams, on yes. the ability to use weapons to do so. So if they get frozen preemptively, then it comes down to slam whirlwinds or combinations of execute cruel task, and that's a lot of investment for two drop. But we didn't see water elementals from show, right? I didn't see any, but I think that would actually be a really good. This is a really great tech for current right. environment, I would say. Actually, you make that makes a lot of sense. Water elemental would be sick. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're facing so many Grim Patient Warriors, even against Zoo, it's pretty solid. Against Druid, is really great. Yeah. Against Face Hunter, it's not so bad. Maybe there are Water Ellies and we just didn't see them. I think it would make maybe, a lot of sense. Maybe. Yeah. Like, there were already decks, um, back mages, that were already playing Water Elementals some time ago. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's been fading like in and out uh, of the deck as a result of people needing it in specific metagames. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's definitely a card that I'm happy we've seen in Temple Mage, yep. like in, uh, in Mech Mage even. Because it, when Mech Mage got first release, nobody played it. Snow Chugger was enough, but then eventually people slowed down the deck, uh, yep. and it seemed to make a bit of sense. So we'll be jumping into the game shortly. We already hear some voices from the game. Yeah, we hear some of them. So it's, it's going to be a Mech Mage versus Grim Patient Warrior. It's not a, a, like a matchup that I have a huge amount of experience mm -hmm. playing. Uh, but I get the general feeling, as you said, it's going to feel like Zoo. But it might be better for the, free, for the Mech Mage than it is for Zoo. The problem is that the Anonymous, as I said, are yeah. the problems. And um, a crucial Frostbolt turn. When you can freeze your opponent with Death Spite, when he can't activate it for the Grim Patrons, an example, or just to clear the board, okay. might also turn the game around. So you get one turn of just complete rain, and then next turn you finish him off with yeah. some burn to the face. Okay, so we jumped into the game, but unfortunately we have some issues with Life Coach's hand. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, it should be coming back up. I mean, there's a lot of bugs with Spectator Mode in general. So it's a quite a good opening hand. Uh, yeah. That's, I would say it's decent. You have a spider thing on turn two. No. Oh, but that doesn't. That's the perfect thing you want to find. It's maybe not perfect because you can't kill the spider thing unless you have a inner rage cool task, or inner rage, cool task, name it, yeah. yeah, or whirlwind. But I don't think you want to use that already. The whirlwind, I wouldn't. The cruel task, I would be happy to. Inner rage, maybe I would uh, very much consider it. 
Spider Tank on turn two seems like a good option. So now the question is, does does life coach want to use? Now, does the he resource? have the answer to this, Meg guy? Because honestly, the the turn three for show is dead. Yeah, we know if, that. Yeah, but he if doesn't life coach know that. has the answer, this is going to be like just a crushing tempo loss. He might want to kill it because it, what if there's will, there will be like a tinker down technician on turn yeah. three? Everything might be is a even huge worse. problem for that. Yeah, and you take recurring damage from it, which in a matchup like this really matters. Like your health is a resource, especially when you're not playing Control Warrior. Yeah, um, you need that health to get to the late game to get the unleash the patrons combos going. True. That seems to be a problem with the spectator, I think. Yeah. So we'll have to wait for, for the second hand. Yeah, uh, hopefully uh, it gets shown. Now I just know that from Show's perspective, this looks like a really difficult match. Like if you just cu if you just look at Show's perspective, if he, if doesn't, he doesn't draw find it, something, yeah, yeah. If, if he whips on curve, yeah, then it might be really important. Now that's interesting from Life Coach. Does he kill an inner rage? I don't think so. He played so slowly. Like, I guess if he has an answer to it, I would he would play it instantly. So yeah, this is a pass turn. Wow. And Mad Scientist, not bad. It's not on curve. But yeah, but it's now he has great. to ping, so it is in fact pretty. Well, bad. he could use the emergency emergency coolant. Yeah, and then finish it off with frostbolt. You're right. That actually probably is better. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense actually. All right, we'll see if he does it. Yeah, I guess Med Scientist Emergency Coolant is as as good as it gets. Yeah, for this specific situation, I don't think it'll get much better. Okay, we got the hand from Life Coach. So we see a second weapon. So Life Coach opted not to use the weapon and Whirlwind because it doesn't make much sense. Execute is also an overextension when you have the Whirlwind set up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he's going to yeah. have to find card draw, like, very quickly. Well, he has Battle Rage. Yeah. So I think Whirlwind, Execute, Battle Rage could be played. Whirlwind, Next Execute, turn. Battle Rage. You kill the Spider Tank. You leave the Mad Science on board. Yeah, your guy's at three health, but, I mean, at least you draw a bit. That's not bad because Show will be forced to play the uh, the um, the Yeti next turn. Yeah. So he doesn't do anything. Well, Show disagrees. Well, this is a great that's draw. That's a great draw for life coach. This is insanely important yeah. in this situation because now, when when Show made this move, he was thinking, he he denies the Warren value, and he might. Be predicting that the Warren will be in hand. Yeah, I think that's the reason why he frostbolted now, and instead not, of not instead of waiting with the emergency coolant, right? And if if life coach wouldn't draw the slam, that would be a really bad position for life coach. We'll have to play. It's even Death better Spite. than Kultas Master almost in this position. Yeah, like it's it's better yeah. than that. Yeah, it's way better than that. And he plays the ghoul too. Now, this is interesting. For against Mech Mage, this might be the card that beats a... And as a crew class also, and as a Warzone Commander. Yeah, I mean, this is... What I'm curious about is, until Green Patron is found, how effective is this hand? And I can't say that it's doing It's much. okay. Yeah. Like, Warzone Commander of Crew Taskmaster is effectively dealing 3 points of damage to a minion. Mirror Entity with an unstable ghoul really makes the mage's yeah. position precarious. Like. Oh, and there's a Grim Patron. So now I guess uh, it will be... I guess it will be Death Spite. Yeah, I think Kill you the just Mad Scientist. Yeah. And that's it. Then you play the ghoul into the into mirror entity and next then you play Green Patron. Yeah. You double ghoul and Death Spite. <laughs> and you have a full board. Get in here. <laughs> Everyone is in here already. Yeah, it's just a matter of time before they can yeah. pass through the door. Right? The man is like <laughs> the, the gate, right? They're all waiting yeah. to get in. They're like, come on man. Yeah. Open this up. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, the worst part is there's nothing this show can do really to prevent it. Uh, I have no idea what can you do. Like, uh, this will, is not too bad. This, this is not Warper bad. You will drop the Mech Warper Yeti, I guess. Yes. But then the Yeti dies to the, um, to the Death Spite. I don't know if you want to do this. Uh, you, you have a point. It's really an all-in. But So does, does Life Coach even attack into the Yeti? I'm starting to wonder if it's worth it for him. Oh. 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 That's not bad. What if you just cruel task execute the yet and keep the dead bite? 
It doesn't matter entity, right? Oh, so right. You want the unstable ghoul to pop. Crap. So maybe unstable ghoul. This is so dangerous, though. Because you have to wait two turns and take like 10 damage in the meantime. Mm. Maybe unstable ghoul with Dread Corsair. I don't generally like it because then. You lose the Corsair. Then the Mech Warper will go into the Dread Corsair. And. Yet he pops the ghoul. Yet he pops the ghoul. But that puts it on three health, and he's got another ghoul. So your whirlwind that's bite with the ghoul will kill the yeti later. That's a it's tricky like, turn, it, yeah. I would say. Oh, I, I'm kind of favoring attacking into the yeti now. Well, first, no, wait. Um, Why doesn't he just play Grim Patron now? And just Dread Corsair, Grim Patron, the whirlwind, and that's it. But you have to kill the Grim Patron from your opponent. Yeah, you have to get sure. You have to make sure you kill it, cause you still have the execute if you wanted. Uh oh, mistake! Wait, what? Oh no, okay, it's not a mistake. Wait, what? That was I, a he, mistake. That was a mistake. This has to have been a mistake. This has to be a mistake. Definitely, this has to be a mistake. Oh no! Rope that coach. was. I think he wanted to play the Dread Corsair. Yeah, but he, he just... forgot that he will be for zero mana after the attack. Exactly. He just looked at the mana cost and forgot about the reduction from the weapon, and he just threw the Warzone Commander on this board. This is horrible. This is as bad as it's gonna get for Life Coach, throwing away one of his biggest win conditions in the deck with the Warzone Commander and giving Show the ability to use it just perfectly at this point. Show can get whatever he wants out of this, and this Life is Coach awful. is gonna have to whirlwind. Like he's gonna have to go all in on the Green Patron play. This is gonna have to be a full-on all-in from Life Coach. Green Patron whirlwind execute, and hope for the best. Oh man, what a misplay! Yeah, that cost us. That that he that. was he had the game in the, in his grasp. I believe he did. Yes. I mean, I can't really see what Sho could have done to stop the, the snowball from occurring. Oh, man. Now I feel like Emperor into... Taunt? Into Taunt might be the best option. Or even uh, Emperor into Execute. I like Execute a bit better. The problem is you're so vulnerable to burn. And, like, what if... What if big minions? You have no answer to that. I still think Emperor into... Execute is the best option, but man, that that play was <laughs> horrible. <laughs> no, I, I think you can say it. That was a that really, was really a big a misplay, an oversight. He from even coach. missed the attack with the goal. Yeah, he was probably just to, to desperate. To, yeah, when he saw it, he was. He it's really hilarious it. when you see pro players struggle with a deck. It's it's the first time it's I actually weird, see that. It's, it's it's weird to notice it because you would figure, um, like even with Miracle Rogue, people made less mistakes. Then with Grim Patron. It's, it's one of the most complex combo decks that's come around in Hearthstone for a long time. I guess this is really enjoyable for the viewers. <laughs> like, they, they, they love the mistakes being made of by players, right? Yeah, you bet they do. That's what they and do. now Dr. Boom with b charged bomb boom bots. Wow. Um, this might be game, actually. We just yeah, this boom. might be game. Like. This might be game. On its own. The charge boom bots are and so it, it devastating. And it bops the Cogmaster too. Yeah, no, this, this is just terrible for Life Coach. For him Two. to get out of this, he needs his opponent so now, to do nothing. So now into... I would actually sacrifice the Cogmaster here. I would do it too first. Yeah, yeah definitely. Now Life Coach's only out is going to be Grim Patron, Whirlwind Execute on Dr. Boom and Hope. Two oh, that's and two, that's, yeah, that's game. That's game. Yeah. That's game. No armor smith, no win. And life coach is going to be losing this one. Oh, wow, that's really hard to watch. Yeah, it really sucks to look at what looked like a one game. Just thrown. Thrown out the window yeah. like this. I don't think Sho could have won without the War Song in this position. I mean, like the fact that Life Coach couldn't get his to do what he wanted it to yeah. was a big problem. Yeah, he's going to try to have everybody get in here, but it's a bit too late. What could come out of this? Let's just think. 
Armor Smith can't be played. No. There's, there's no nothing. Life gain, there's right? no there's no life gain, so you don't have anything. Yeah. You still clear the board, but you don't have anything for that. For the fireball incoming. And Life Coach knows that he's dead the fireball. He's gonna hope his opponent only has the frostbolt, but Show is gonna take his first game as a mech mage against a Grim Patron Warrior. Well, a bit unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate ending of a game. I, I wouldn't say it's unfortunate, this is just a misplay. Um, yeah, but it, it, like, I want to see where it was going to go. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. I like to see when Green Patient played. Um, but I think the deck is still, as we said, you know, very new. A lot of people still make mistakes, and even pro players. Like, you yeah. see them on stream. If you I, do I just go to their streams, it's crazy. I just said that Life Coach is one of the players that makes the least mistakes. Yeah, first game is just like, and oh, it, wait. And the first game is like, he <laughs> like, misplayed yeah. with a... I can't even say this. Like... Sometimes a misplay means like uh, you miss one damage, but I think you miss like two damage. What you made thinking unfavorable is, trade. I want to give charge to my ghoul and to my dread corsair, so I'll play them in this order. But because he didn't want to damage them, so I understand the reasoning. It's just that if he wanted to do that, yeah. he would have to do it like this: not attack, wars and commander. Yeah. Pile the shredder, unstable ghoul. Yeah, dread corsair. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Pantra Shredder. Pantra yeah, Shredder, Dread, yes. Dread, Dread Corsair. So, you, then you, you have a Warzone Commander on board, right? right? So, you go with the, um, with the Dread Corsair to the Warzone Commander. Yeah. And then you attack into the Yeti. You clear your Dread Corsair, but you also clear the uh, Yeti. And you have a Ghoul on board and a damaged uh, Mech Warper Maybe still on left board. left with uh, like yeah. two health, I think. But yeah, yeah. So, so if, the, do, if the ghoul trades for the Mech Warper, both die. You still have your Warsaw Commander on one HP, right? So you, your opponent has to ping it, and that's And that's it. a bit of a tempo loss, but... I, I, mean, I still think that wasn't the correct play. Yeah, it might have been a problem to win the game because he needed to keep the Warsong for the, yeah. the perfect, you know, unleash the, the patrons. But I, the line of play he took was obviously a mistake. He yeah. was not thinking about the, the, the mana cost. I guess the best possible play was just to attack into the Yeti and play Ghoul. Armor up. Yeah, just armor up and just let him have another yeah. Ghoul that you can enable yeah. two turns down yeah. the line to just yeah. get all the patrons on the board. Uh, I that guess that was the correct the play. Yep. So, uh, well, that's unfortunate for Life Coach. He's going to be losing the first game against Sho. Uh, Sho is going to be playing his Warlock up next. I don't know what Life Coach is going to take. Uh, not knowing what Sho's Warlock is, I guess. He knows for sure. It was handlock, right? I th yeah, I think it's handlock for sure. It, it was Light, because uh, Hype was playing freeze, ma freeze <coughs> mage, excuse me, freeze mage against though. the yeah. show's handlock when he top decked uh, the antique bot. Right, and he just got the perfect eight health at the very end. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, Hype was about to get it, so life coach has to pick a, good, a deck that's good against handlock. Uh, yeah. Mage might work if it's playing freeze, but he doesn't one, tend one to thing play I much of it. I dislike about players playing in conquest mm -hmm. is keeping the deck that they just played? It's actually, I think from, uh, I looked at an analysis, it was like the best possible way to pick. Really? Yeah, to like mathematically, uh, like in a game theory sense, it was the best thing to do in the Conquest format. Okay, but apparently there's two different approaches that have the same result, and I think they go like very differently mm -hmm. um, about it. I forget what the second one is, but one of them was definitely just stick to your deck until it wins. Otherwise, anyway, you're losing it. Unless Tiebreaker. I think Tiebreaker is where things get a bit different. Yeah, sure. Um, up until that, it doesn't really matter. All right, so it's going to be Mage versus Warlock up next. Life Code versus Show. Now, in the meantime, I still want to remind you that I'm behind by 4%. Well, actually, it's by two, right? Because if you, if yeah, you, but it, if it you gain one percent, then I lose one percent, so you're by. But like, if you have a fifty-five percent chance to win, like a game, you have ten percent edge on me, right? No, I have five. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, you're right. Like <laughs> forty-five, fifty-five. So yeah. I'm four percent behind. Like I have forty-five, forty-eight percent of the alliance behind me, and you have everyone voting horde. It's actually not as far as I thought. I thought horde would, you know, vote in droves, but that's not <laughs> at all what's happened. I, I'm surprised some of you still like the Alliance after uh, the debacle of what happened in World of Warcraft. Um, so, if you want to vote, hashtag KPL Alliance, or hashtag KPL Horde, if you want to vote for Lothar, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> if you want to look at it that way, or if you're rooting for Life Coach, uh, vote Horde, if you're rooting for Show. Yeah, I would guess that this is the best that presentation. That is probably the best way to do it, yeah. yeah. So, so this match is Horde is Life Coach, yep. Show is Alliance, go take a vote for your favorite here. Yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with the next game. I'm and sure I, life goes... I, I want to ruin the chat experience now for everyone, so <laughs> type exclamation mark packs 
So you can win packs? Yeah, exclamation mark packs and your following post must be Kappa dance game. <laughs> back to back. If you don't do that, I'm not, I'm not Kaz anymore. Which actually, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Some people <laughs> might not type it. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to be moving on to the next game. It's going to be Life Coach's Mage versus Show's Warlock. It's going to be a Mech Mage based on what I'm looking at. And so Show's Mech Mage against Handlock. Handlock. Uh, it's not the matchup I would usually want to see as a Mech Mage but unless I got right? two Fireballs. Yeah. Fireballs are like kill command in this In this matchup, yeah. yeah. I think it shows... Oh, wow. Well, he has the Ancient Water Owl. This is what we call... He, d he did that earlier. To yeah, it was the same. But now, same exact the Mad Scient is kind of okay. Because it's better now. Yeah, it's, be it's really better. Now, Strom, I think, okay, <laughs> maybe I'll just silence the Mad Scientist. Yeah, because otherwise, you'll, you'll guarantee to feed value into the Mech Mage's board, and that's not Yeah, you can't play the Twilight Drake, then. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, after coining out, it's even worse. Like he coined out the watcher and now he can't maybe play anything. Maybe it's not actually that bad. We, uh, you still have a 4-3 on board and a 2-1. Uh, it does a frostbolt, but it's not that big a deal. It's just that a 2-attack two, two minion with a pin kills it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, I think you should silence the mad scientist, you know? I agree. I mean... You, you still have 4 cards that enable your ancient watcher to do something in this game yeah defenders you got sun furies yeah i don't think yeah. he runs a second owl but definitely i think silencing the scientist is the winning possible play and you don't want to give your opponent a mirror entity on turn two like it's really bad you, you also increase the chances of him having a favorable draw like not in s not the secret I guess yeah by by not summoning it yeah yeah so spider tank here. Spider tank go phase. I don't think there's another option. I wonder what. Maybe shows waiting for good hellfire. Then he plays the owl into the the the, the hmm? into merititty. So he hellfires the board. Then he plays owl into merititty. Then he coils the owl. I that's wonder if like, that's why he's waiting. That's like turn seven play. That yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm just wondering like why not sign the mad scientist. I'm just trying to figure it out. Well, maybe he just wants to play the Twilight Drake on turn 4, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, he does get a good Iron B. Cal value now. I mean, the, the, the heal bot is fine to give to a mage, isn't it? It is, it is. So it's not well, you have to tap was. now in this situation. No, I Iron Beak and kill the Spire Tank. Th so then you play Twilight Drake next turn, right? Uh, Do you? you Probably. Well, your Twilight Drake will be kind of weak. <laughs> you, to say the least, yeah. If we fall seven, that's not a huge advantage. Advantage. So if you if you tap now, you can play the giant next turn. But you will get ten damage from the board. Yeah, from the board alone. Oh man. Well, actually, you will get it anyway. You're gonna take that damage no matter what yeah. happens at this point. So if you if you silence the mad scientist, you only deny the two damage you're taking yourself by the left uh, by the laughter uh, laughter laughter laughter. Yeah, I'm dying. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I'm quite dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Joker tab. Uh, oh, dark bomb! Hello. Now Doesn't that could change be anything. Well, it's actually useful. So I guess it's uh, Tinker Tower Technician time. Do you overextend it to Shadow Flame? I guess you try. Yeah, I, I guess Going you on. do. Yeah. Shadow Flame denies. Okay, he he goes with that. I don't exactly. Wow! Wait. Wait, that's that's perfect. <laughs> what a that's, nice that's perfect. Mage. That's the best way to do it. Now you sacrifice the Mad Scientist, I agree. and you deny. There's like one one Watcher left. So if you sacrifice the Mad Scientist now, you deny him the turn four play yeah. with full curve. So there will be no. Twilight Drake, no giant, and the only play for show we know will be silence. An owl to, to and coil it. Mortal call the owl. This is horrible. Well, we'll have to see what happens next. I mean, he's definitely thinking about not trading it, but it's the obvious good play. And Life Coach spots it right away. <laughs> right away. That was quite an exaggeration. Oh, I mean, nine <laughs> seconds with two <laughs> seconds on the road. That's, that's pretty close to right away for Life Coach. Is it not? Uh, he's not going to play the coil with the owl. He's going to go for the dark bomb, which I well, think makes sense. Yeah, makes ma sense. It's a lot better. Um, 
Now you can feed the heal bot into it, I guess. <gasps> oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Life coach finding double kill command. So, no trigger. No, you can ping it. Like, you can ping face now. Yeah, I think it's good. With a double fireball, it starts changing something. Sometimes it doesn't do anything, but... I mean, Hellfire is not a big problem. You're, what wipes your board here, honestly? Like, um, Hellfire double coin? Nothing. There's no coin. Yeah. So you play anti killbot, I guess. I mean, what choice do you really have? Iron B Cowl and Sun Fury? I mean, that's horrible. <laughs> that's if like you the play worst. Killbot, then you're left on. You have 25, so 22, 18. So you're dead 16, in like two turns, depending on what. 10. The you can gets. be left on nine damage, and I, I don't think that Life Code will do that. I just think that he will. Trade? He'll play it very safely, yeah. I don't yeah. think he'll go all in. Unless he finds maybe a frost bolt. No, I don't uh, think so. But even then. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, God. You know what? Things are. So if you go face with everything, 3, yeah, 7, Yeah, he's got nine, 15 from hand. 12, so pretty crazy. 18, 20. What? What? 4, 7? So he got lethal from nine, the entire thing. 9, 12. Yeah. 15, 21 damage this turn. But then the second hill bot will get him out of reach. Will it? Because it doesn't taunt. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Never mind. So it just well, I just forgot about the whole board. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the board disappeared after attacking. Yeah, yeah. Me, so. I was like, there's always a board wipe and yeah. a kill board the same <laughs> turn. So no, not this time. Unfortunately for him. But I, I still guess. I, I guess life code will just trade the free free for the free free. I guess that's not a bad idea. It's pretty safe, and you're not really... Like, if you let the 3-3 live, you're afraid of Shadow Seven, Flame, Seven, nine, probably. ten. You can deal t 10 damage. Yeah. Like, you can ping, and... Actually, why not just Frostbolt the 3-3 three, three at that point? Oh, yeah, that's right. That you keep your 3-3 three, well, three alive unless Hellfire hits, so... Like, Hellfire is the only thing that really makes this horrible. Life I think, coach. I think he goes ham. Yeah. In the snap of a finger, finds the correct play. Full face doesn't care at all about Shadow Flame because what are the odds of it making a difference? And yeah. now he knows that even if a taunt falls down, um, it's not going to fall down alongside a heal bot. So it's either or. And if there's no heal bot, then he wins with the. Yeah, hand. that's it. That's that's game. Yeah, dance game. Dance game. Yep, yeah, that's what they said. And now, I, I mean, double giant Sun Fury looks good on paper until you look at the hand from Life Coach, and you know it doesn't change a thing. You know what the problem is that Lifecode didn't win with the Grim Pattern? What is? Is the fact that he might play Grim Pattern into Handlock. And he wanted to avoid that matchup. There is actually on Show's lineup no really good matchup for Warrior. Beyond well, Mech Mage. The Mech Mage. Yeah, that's was, the was only the one that was like really pretty well, solid. Well, there's a Hunter, which is a mid-range Hunter. No, there's a Face Hunter. That's, that's, that's Face favorite. Hunter. It's not bad, but I mean, they will like eat you up without the armor gain. It, they can really it just depends, eat you alive. If you have Inner Rages and the Unstable Ghoul. Right, he does play anti-aggro yeah, tech. Yeah. You're right, you're right. There is definitely uh, merit to the, the deck that Life Watch running for Grim Patron. So it's still winnable with yeah. the Patron deck. Uh, but against Handlock, it's all down to the old school uh, OTK plays. The Narius style. Wow. Oh, well, that's going to be a quick fireball. Yep. No no rope here. I think that was a really, really slow turn for Light Coach. <laughs> and a nod from Stro. Yes, yeah. yes, that happened. Like, yeah, yeah, he's got fireball. Yeah, 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 he does. This is the first match when we see a 1-1. One, one Goodness, you're right. First match where it's not actually like 3-0 into 3-1 into 4-1. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we'll get a 4-3 game, like an entire 4-3 series between Life Coach and Show, which I think would be really nice. So far we've had really big blowouts between the players. And uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward when you see them. It feels a little bad when you get the perfect draw on one side and completely horrendous draws on the other. Yeah, that's true. Well, <sighs> Life Coach, now I think he will go back to the Grim Pattern. Uh, I don't know. Druid seems like a really good like c class to play against the rest of the lineup from Show. If you get it out of the way, when he's down to Hunter, then maybe you switch to Patron. The thing is, if you play your Druid into Hunter, and it beats you, then what have you got left for Grim Patron? Yeah, that's right. That might be your last Conquest deck, and that's not. I mean, it could come down to a Mirror Match Grim Patron, which I think is really cool. 
uh, to watch because there's a lot at play there. Then the unstable goal, and both players are playing unstable goals, I think right? So. Yeah. It's really a liability, a liability in this uh, mirror match. You have to play match. it with Warsong for cheap with Emperor to just get it out of the way and mm -hmm, win mm -hmm. with it right away. Yeah. Um, that you have to try it for the OTK as fast as possible because giving your opponent the ability to get Grim Patrons is not an option. Yeah, definitely. So we have to. Yeah, you actually pr um, predicted the Druid from Life Coach. Life Coach is going to play Druid versus Show's Warrior. Now, I think we saw this earlier. It's generally favored for the Warrior unless. Druid has Wild Growth, Shade of Nax, Pilot Shredder, uh, Fire Harrison I don't Jones. remember what it was, but it was just... Like Harrison per, Jones. Right, Harrison Jones from Kalento, which was a great tech considering the metagame. I think that was a really good call on his part. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we'll see exactly if Life Coach yeah. can get as good a start. It's funny that they, when for like one and a, uh, one, uh, above one year, right? Yeah. Um, the matchup when you see a Druid against a Warrior is like, okay, Druid has an upper yeah. hand always. Yeah. Like, always. And now, when you see the matchup against Druid and the, uh, and the Warrior, it's like, okay, it's even, maybe even the Warrior's favorite. Right. Who knows? Yeah, depending on the text. And it's really nice now, because with the diversity of the metagame, the texts become more diverse. Yeah. And that's also something that I realized, like, beyond the archetypes themselves, even one deck can have so many variations on its own, um, which makes the whole thing even more dynamic. To look By the at. way, I was thinking about one thing. Go. If... <laughs> Go! <laughs> I, I Wars on Commander, right? Yes. It gives the charge to the minion. Right. So, if you have four minions on board, and someone plays mind control tech, and takes your Grim Patron, it has charge? Yes. It's been given to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He, the old Wars on Commander just gave your minions charge. Like, it's like passive. Per permanent. But now it's a buff. Yeah. So yeah. you would give your Wars on Commander charge. Okay. So that's cool. Yeah. All right. Get into the game here, and it seems like Life Coach found the dream. Wild Grove, Coin, Wild Grove, Shade, Palted Shredder. And probably a 5-drop, right? He'll find one. Yeah, he'll find one. I, uh, you... I would say... That's not bad. I could have a pain denied. Yeah, I was thinking about the better draw than, um, than Ragnaros. Keeper is, like, not essentially needed, right? But it's nice to deny the draw, yeah. 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 It definitely is one of the things you want to do. Um, Grim Patron's fuel is card draw. The only Beacon thing they want to do is draw, draw, draw. Beacon Hunter, not quite as useful as usual against the Warrior. Weirdly enough, yeah. Yeah. Although, Frothing Berserker. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, this is the time. Uh, the problem is, if it's high enough in attack, you're probably dead. <laughs> Might <laughs> be the is, case. Yeah, yes. so sometimes you do already have too low health for it to matter. Um, but Life Coach with a god draw here. Blood of Shredder after the Shade. There's one wound, yeah. so I guess it's a collective pain. <laughs> so you silence it now, right? I think I would, yeah. I would at least. The problem uh, is when if you play the keeper now, it's Death really spite. weak to death spite. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I'm still waiting on one person to play revenge. I was um, meeting some players on at ladder, uh, on ladder with revenge. Okay. It's and really great in the mirror match. And again, Zoom must do well as well. Once you start going yeah. very low on health, then again you already favored as patron, or at least you're not doing not fine. favored, but it's kind of yeah. okay. Yeah. Hmm. It's right. it's a very interesting turn. I, I would say, Palestra would be better because of the um, because, because of the of effect the that it has, the stickiness, and yeah. the death bite in the show's hand. The problem it might present is the fact that. The Palter Shredder may spawn a two attack minion. Which gives the Acolytes. Or even a one attack minion. Yeah. Well, with one attack, it doesn't really make a difference because then the Keeper kills it or sells it anyway. I think Keeper is the best play here because you know that your opponent's only win condition is draw. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't mm -hmm. get it, you're fine. There's a battle rage, so that's something. That's at least going to get him a little bit of... Actually, that Death's Bite is going to do a lot of work for him. Life Coach can at least follow up with something relevant. Wait. No, 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 no. no. That's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the Acolyte draw. Like, wait, what? What's happening there? All right. This makes more sense to me. Get in there and fight, maggot, says Flarizel. Yeah, by the way, if you want to tweet uh, to Kingwin League, just do hashtag Kingwin League with your message. You will show up on stream. Don't uh, forget to vote for your favorite here. You um, hashtag KPL Alliance for show and hashtag KPL Horde for life coach. Yeah, I vote for show, but that's because <laughs> I'm Alliance <laughs> and I really like I really like show as a player. I think he's great. 
So there's a battle rage here. So I guess you play uh, Acolyte. Acolyte. You go into the four four six and battle, and battle rage. You draw three cards and you kill the the druid. Actually, you draw more than that. You order, you draw four. Oh yeah, you well draw. three three from battle rage. Yes, yeah, yeah. four total. Uh oh, there goes the first grim patron. Probably the only one that's going to be needed for the entire game. Double war song and, and the frothing. 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 All right. Things are getting underway so here for show. He can play the first uh, Warsome Command of Frothing just, just so. Just yeah, like so. On its own, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it's not very much unseen, so no surprise there. Swiperino. I guess Palta Shredder of Wrath. I think you don't have the choice. And now the question that this begs is do you just go all in with the shade or do you wait for the perfect time? Mm. I mean, there's not going to be a brawl. That's pretty, pretty much uh, a guarantee nowadays. Uh, I would say you have to wait. Cause there's an easy, easy kill with execute. Yeah. Easy kill with um, second death spite. Any yeah, anything that like I think executes your biggest worry because you only have very few targets for it that are going to be amazing, and this is probably the best one that the war yep. can find. And you can win the game with a shade. Yeah. Like if you hit ten nine and you have the combo. the the combo, then you can deal so much damage. It doesn't really matter if you attack with the shade right now. Yeah, I think you'll deal less overall if you attack now, because you'll only deal five, then it's gone. And the life coach is gonna bite his time. Worse than Commander Frothing? Uh, it doesn't look as good now. Why not? Well, does it to you? So you just go worse on Commander Frothing, attack with Acolyte. Well, you need something. Otherwise, you have to ruin this turn. Grim or just bat wait, wait, wait. What about Battle Rage first? Battle Rage into Execute, so you kill the Pilot Shredder then, and maybe you will draw also a Fear War X to trade for the drop from okay, the Pilot Okay, you know Shredder. what, I, I, really, I like your first plan better. I think it's actually, like, it's, it's bad, but it's not that bad. Like, it, the thing is, it doesn't solve any problem. But it, it kind of makes Druid in a position when he has to deal with minions. Yeah, he has to start trading with the board. And, like, if he didn't use any kind of um, projectiles yet... Projectiles, well... <laughs> pew yeah. pew! So you might guess he doesn't have one, but we know that Life Coach has it, so he can raft the Warzone Commander, right, right, right. swipe sure, the sure. dude. But so he doesn't know that for now. Yeah. It's just uh, like if you if you play on board a Warzone Commander, it has a huge red dot on it. Yeah, it's like it's unless you have lethal, you have to kill that. I guess double for the Berserker trade into the Pilot Shredder. It looks like it. He's gonna go and try and make oh, it work. Oh wait, just going he's not full trading. Face. Why? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, he traded. But he missed the, the, draw. the draw, but it doesn't really change anything because yeah, he didn't have perfect. mana. Yeah, that, I guess that's fine. Uh oh. Ooh. That's a perfect turn for Life Coach with a swipe wrath. And now he can start punching face and, and setting he up has the, the lead combo. Uh, I guess this is the end. Actually, my question is do you. S if you swipe, does the frothing go up to six? It goes it's to only six. six right? yes. Oh, crap, it you can't BGH it because no, that would have been okay. so much better. Yeah, it would have been. But it's not. Yeah. Rest in peace Unless... No, wait. No, 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 never mind. Well, you can trade... Unless you trade your face into... You, you can trade uh, your Palty Shredder yeah. into one of the Frothings, then right. ref it for one, and then play Big Game Hunter. Because you could keep swipe for face. Is that ever a thing you want to do? I, I don't think so, because you are two turns away from lethal, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I think you just... You can't So that. if you f um, swipe now oh. and ref, you have your opponent at 14 if you attack with everything. And now he can't play anything offensively, so you're effectively going to win the game. Okay, so he's trading way. anyway. Doomsayer inbound. Oh! Uh oh, That is not good. That is not good. At this all. has to go as soon as possible. And this I hope he doesn't go. attack with the shade. I hope I he doesn't attack. I don't think he will. Shade. I absolutely don't think he will. He has to keep it now. With that, that kind of play, he has to keep it shaded still. Actually, this Emperor could be a problem. It might be, because you have... Well, you have to sacrifice the Ghoul next time. Oh, there's turn. no frothing, so there's no OTK. There's patrons, man. Did they OTK in a position like this? You can hit for like 18 with six of them. Oh, yeah, right. And that's it. Yeah. So I think at this point, Life Coach is not really threatened by the OTK. Mm-hmm. Anymore, yeah, yeah, with the right. frothings being gone. 
What do you think about attacking face first into the frothing instead of refing? To take a bit of damage instead of uh, wasting the, the card? The ref, yeah. yeah. Then on turn 8 you have the ref, so, w w um, so you can use... That doesn't make any sense. I don't think there's really any like good reason to take the damage, but the frothings are the biggest threat in a matchup like this. If they do get out of hand one turn, you're dead. Mm -hmm. um, if the mm -hmm. patrons stick in the mid game, you're also going to lose, but <laughs> this is way too late at this point. This is why I didn't like the double frothing, you know? I thought it was really weak. Yeah. No, like you, you, your play was Commander really Frothing Berserker was, I think, it had more in th um, long term impact for sure. Yeah, it felt impact. a bit bad because it didn't solve any immediate problems, but it would have possibly. Innervate uh, for lethal? Yeah, if he finds Innervate. We haven't seen any yet. So. Wait, is it lethal without it? Um, Actually, it should it be. 9, be. 10, 12, yeah, with swipe. 16, 18, 20. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, lethal. Yeah, with exact lethal with the swipe here at the end. Yeah, I forgot the, about the one uh, one damage from from the sw uh, the previous swipe. No, no, the no, shade from, from the shade. Yeah, when it gets buffed. Well, that is game number three for Life Coach. Going up two one against Show. One. So that's yeah. actually a pretty close series so far. Everything could come back, but this means Life Coach's grim patron uh, still has to go up against Show's lineup. Yeah, it's still not done for life. You know what? Grim, Grim Petrus seems kind of a li liability sometimes. I mean, you you it's a deck that's hard to pilot. Number one, mm -hmm. um, number two, it's got the problem where if you don't draw right, you're gonna be in the world of hurt. You need to get a clean like a clean good board on turn five six yeah. and follow up seven eight nine where you just blow him out of the water. Or you have to get the OTK very late game, where he lets you do it. But usually that doesn't happen. And that's the big weakness, is they've had to cut the armor game for board presence. And that gives them much less survivability. But I think the, counter, you know, the, the counterbalance of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, the possible board presence really makes up for it, most of the time. Yeah, yeah that's true. But it is a liability. I'll give it to you. We'll see. I, I think that I just don't, don't like the unstable goals in the deck, you know? It feels like so weird. Sometimes... It makes your opponent more happy than you. In a me in a Grim Patron heavy meta game, for sure. Yeah. Like right? even it, even against Zoo, I think with the what's the what's the name the Imp Gang boss. Mm -hmm. Like it's nice, but it can be bad. Like it can do nothing. Like if you implosion uh, the thing, you're gonna lose the implosion. So sometimes it's weak, but a lot of the time, it can do nothing as Grim Patron warrior. And only has one uh, attack. Yeah. So it doesn't really deal with any of the the, the bigger minions well, out there. The plus of it is the, the fact that you can crew Taskmaster it to trade for a bigger minion with 4 HP. And then get a bit of AoE yeah. on top. And or the inner rage, and that's it. Yeah. I don't know how good that really is. I mean, it's kind of like the old Acolyte of Pain scenario where you would play like a 1-3, and then you'd get card drawn. Yeah, 2-3, uh, like turn 2, you yeah, unstable yeah. ghoul, turn 3, Acolyte of Pain, yeah. then you trade the ghoul, you, tra you get at least two cards. You play like Control card. Warrior at that point. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's like... Um, Usual control warrior, turn right. two to three. Back when Nax was yeah. out, that was yeah. like the biggest thing. People played ghoul. So next match is going to be Warlock versus Warlock, which should be an interesting match. Uh, we know this show is playing Handlock. Life Coach is probably playing Handlock. And this is a, g a deck that requires a lot of finesse. You have to make the correct decision every turn. Mm -hmm. Every turn, there's only one right play. Um, and I think it's really hard to spot, more so than in many other yeah. decks. And it's also important that when Handlock was at the top of the ladder, I mean, of the of the food chain. Yeah. Uh, most of the decks were playing two shadow flames. Yeah. Because the background, that was yes. really important in the mirror match, because you had so many mirror matches between handlocks. Yeah. The shadow flame was just winning the whole matchup. When you drop a mountain giant into shadow flame into developing the board, your opponent might have no answer to that. Yeah. And nowadays, when there's only one shadow flame, and hellfires are kind of useless, you might say. In this matchup, yeah, it's generally not... It's good, but it's not going to solve mm -hmm. any problems. Well, there are no more yeah. Farseers. Right. Right? No They're more Farseers. Uh, the uh, anti-kill bots are way slower than Farseers. So Hellfire is... Um, like it's an answer, but it doesn't really... Like it's not on curve, generally yeah. speaking. It's a bit off curve. Yeah. Uh, you would lo most of the time, you use the Hellfire on turn 4. And you have no targets for that. So it basically, it's dead for, for the entire game, unless you go a le uh, to a lethal mode with both Hellfires in one turn or whatever. Yeah. It's used with Dark Bomb a lot of the time, like in combination, yeah, mid-game, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. I mean, it's, it's in the Handlock, if you could cut out Hellfire in a mirror match, you would. Pretty yeah. much systematically. Like, to, to boil it down, that's pretty much what it comes Especially down to. Especially in this metagame. Yeah. There's no so problem. I would cut two even. Well, I mean, with Grim Patron around, I think it's a really good you way. You have to play like, both. Yeah. You're kind of forced to because 
And, and it's one of those things where I feel like Grim Patron keeps the meta in check at the moment, where a lot of people <laughs> want to cut cards out that they yeah. otherwise have no use for. And they're like, but I can't, the Grim Patron. And it's always back to that one deck that's just new in the meta mm -hmm. until a new mm -hmm. meta game maybe evolves around it. Uh, for the yeah. time being, it's definitely making things a bit more interesting. So we'll be jumping into the game. All right. Well, looking at the hands right now, very standard. I think keep the Watcher and probably throw the other two. Keep the Watcher? Why would you keep the Watcher? You could get either Owl, unless you want to keep that for Drake's. For I, I don't oil. think... I don't think... Uh, I talked with Life Coach about that. Yeah. He said you never do that. You never... In the mirror match? Uh, you, know, you never um, Owl and Ancient Watcher in the mirror match. In the, against another handlock? I mean, I guess yeah. you're better off just finding Drakes and Giants anyway. Like, they're yeah. the best cards in, in any matchup if you can play it slowly. Well, the Owl is really important against uh, Twilight Drakes. Yeah, as I said, like, I think with the Coil, yeah. it's just crazy good. Yeah, it's, uh... The Golden Handlock against the non-Golden Handlock. I mean, the deck, not yeah. the character. Of course. Ah, there's an Iron Beak for show. Definitely going to come in handy if uh, Twilight Drake is played, which and is just Twilight right. Drake. The good thing is, they don't take too much time to life tap to eight cards. They know what's up. True. And but now, now show, I would say he has to coin out the Twilight Drake. Uh, how much do you like doing this? But I mean, you can't let your opponent get the initiative. Sadly, not in the position like this. By the way, Jaraxxus. Yeah, what about it? I thought it's like out of the metagame for now. I don't know, Life Coach has been playing it quite a bit in uh, KPL, in some of his lists. Two of them, I think, were okay. uh, Jaraxxus. That's something new for me. But now the Giant is in perfect answer to that 4-8 Drake, and that's the problem. The question is, no, he doesn't have the Beast in his sight. Okay, never mind. Yeah. So now you lost the Twilight Drake. To giant. And Dark Bomb Coil? Oh, oh god. Oh wow, so... <laughs> but what this turn you have to tap. Oh, you can't. You have to Dark Bomb Coil to kill it. Unless you go for the Sun Fury play. I mean, that's fine too. Shadow Flame. Well, well that's important for... Next turn. Do you even Sun Fury? Because the trade's gonna be made anyway. Wow, what a... What a pain. That's quite a whiff, I would say. And... He can't even play his giant next turn. No, he's not able to. That's the problem. Wow, that's really weird. He's locked out of it. Like, it's just weird. Well, if he would play the uh, Mortal Coil, I mean, Dark Bomb Mortal Coil, right? He would have been at... Five mana for the five giant. Five mana for the giant, yeah. so he would be able to play it. I know, that's why I'm surprised he didn't do it. Yeah, I know it's yeah, a huge you, investment, but you, it's like a perfect right. cycle. You're totally right about that. Um, but maybe a bit of an oversight. Or not interested, and he has other game plans. You know, you know what's the, the downside of playing anti killboard instead of Fire Sears? You can't heal your giant now. Yeah, you can't actually target the healing, yeah. you're right. Which used to be one of the biggest ways to solidify a board out of nowhere. Yes, uh, yes. you trade like from these. minion and you heal it. Mm -hmm. Like, so huge. I think life could really go face. Bam! Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and so wrong you were. Alright, didn't want to play into uh, any early Moltens, I guess, but... Uh, how threatening would that be? Now, I think Sho realizes, wait, now I'm forced to Dark Bomb Coil. And all I got for this is 4 damage to the face. No, he goes for the Sludge Bomb. So bike, see, right? he had a game plan that extended way beyond the next turn. Well, I'm exaggerating the, the when I say maybe way the beyond. The problem is if there will be an Owl for that. Well, I mean, Defend of Argus does the job with the Coil. Or do you just play Emperor here? This is such a good Emperor turn. It's easy, right? Like it, you don't have, you don't suffer much for doing so. I think you played Defend of Argus and Mortal Coil. You yeah. cycle cycle through your deck, so your Emperor will have almost the same impact next turn, right? And you don't leave your Giant open to Mortal Coil because I feel that's, yeah, that's like the, the worst issue. possible way to lose a Giant. Yes, if coil. he has to play Hellfire, sure, do it, right? It's four mana. It's a huge yeah. investment on the yeah. the opponent's part. But if, if he just plays a Mortal Coil and kills a 8-1, that's like, wow, he just killed two and a half of a Magma Rager. <laughs> no, please. Wait, wait. Magma Rager is 4-1? 5-1. 5-1. Okay, yeah. never mind. Then it's like one Almost point. two Magma Ragers yeah. of one card. You know, it's like he played... Oh, 
Okay, so he doesn't go for it. So he goes for the Emperor. Which... Let's see if he does get punished. The good thing is, if the opponent has Siphon Soul, he can't Siphon. He can't Siphon Soul and kill a Giant. If he has Coil, he has to Coil and then he doesn't kill Emperor. But so he can play a, a Giant, but you have... But Oh, that's... That's kind of too late. <laughs> <laughs> a bit too late, yeah. Um. So, Giant, Mortal Coil, Owl. Yeah, I think this is the only line of play you can take. That's going to possibly swing... Oh my god. Oh, Shell's plays are so I, I think like he awkward just in every line. Bitten back by the fact that he didn't kill the giant on turn two. Yeah, with the full on, you know, over investment. He lost a he lost a Belcher, without yeah. any reason. For no, yeah, he was sacrificed to lower the health of the giant down. Yeah, and then Emperor shows up, making everything even more awkward after that. Oh well, happens. But this is looking really difficult for Show. Is he going to have to give his opponent another oh, Emperor wow. turn? This is so weak. What do you think about Argos now? I mean, I love it. I don't think it'll get much... Actually, wait, trade you Argus? Trade for the, I mean, this you is just so saw, sick. Oh, you just God. saw one Mortal Coil, right? This is so sick. So if you go with a Defender of Argus, yeah. you kill the low tap, you go 4 for phase, and you get... Uh, discount for your yeah, whole yeah, you're getting everything for your whole shelf. discounted exactly so it's it's just amazing the fact that life coach was able to get two turns of emperor you is tap just now nasty you tap now because you you might draw into a um we'll get there i'm not sure what would be even better you just tap for the value of the discount yeah just for the one there's just for the coin right you're yeah. tapping for a coin if he taps that's definitely what he's thinking about cuz Otherwise, it's going to be Drake Defender. Which I actually don't mind. I think Drake Defender might be a bit more stable. But nah, nah, nah. Hellfire, that's sh sure. I, I wouldn't overextend on this board. It's just like Defender killed Low Tap. Oh man. This board. Hmm? He goes, hen? Full face for life coach. Damn, damn, damn. He went full hen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hellfire. Sure finds a hellfire, but that's not exactly going to save the day. I think Shadow Flame is going to be the card. So you killed the low tap. I mean, you killed the Belcher. Yeah. Shadow Flame. Well, you use the giant for it, and then you just pop the slime. That's probably the winning play, actually. Uh, Otherwise, you're behind still. And you don't have any board. Why didn't he kill the low tip? No, I think he just sacrificed the low tip after his. Yeah, I know, but so why didn't Life Coach kill the low tip? I'm still surprised by that play. I, I'm still honestly surprised that Life Coach didn't, but there must oh, be a Luke, reason. Oh, Luke. A rag for eight. <laughs> I got the beast in my sight. But he has Doctor Five. Right. Oh my god. Drake BGH Doctor Boom. I think that's quite powerful. That's like you mean for eight mana? I mean, not down for that. That's just for eleven, forty mana. <laughs> that's like three innovates. Imagine a druid that uh, plays three innovates one turn. I would just toss the 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 board, the chair, the, the, the chair, the table. But I would you, toss my <laughs> whole home because of that. <laughs> Flip the home. Yeah. So what I'm curious about though is like when uh, when initially Emperor was released, the meta game was all face hunter. And Handlock got zero value out of Emperor. Yeah, and now it got like... Because the metagame slowed down, suddenly Emperor is like the MVP of Handlock. Yeah. Which it wasn't when initially the card was released. We expected yeah, it to be, but it didn't work yeah. out. Yeah. Well, I guess you do it. Do it, bro. Yeah. A very That's quick spot here by Life Seems Coach. like a... I thought that was an anti bot. Like, what? <laughs> Life Coach. With only 10 seconds left on the rope. There's also a from play. this position. Well, you, you have the big game hunter and five mana left. So Hellfire, BGH. And you kill everything. And then you take enough damage to trigger Molten. Yeah, I guess you but try. But the Molten is kind of left to die, I would say. How so? Because then there's a seven no, it born died. board. No, no, you go Hellfire, then you play BGH. And you play Molten. Oh, yeah, right. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the boom boss will hit you. What if they will hit for one one? This is no no no. What if they will hit for five? 
And you can't play that. Why? Because you're left with one mana. You have to Hellfire and Big Game Hunter. Yeah. So if, you, if the boom bots hit for six, then you can play the, the giant. Well, no, because you're going to deal damage to yourself with Hellfire. Oh, you're right. Hellfire yeah, deals yeah. damage. Hellfire Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Hellfire is the key part here. Like, it will kill you. Never mind. And yeah, that's, that's it. No, oh, apparently esports is not in the dictionary. Really? If that's true, then I'm celebrating tonight. Yeah. All my life I've been waiting. All right. Well, he's gonna go for it, I think, and he does find the ability to play two the and four. Oh God, that's painful. I think he's dead. Uh, nope. Oh wow, he's gonna be one off. Wait, Ragnaros. Ragnaros, yeah. Well. Can't be played with everything. Um, it's really tempting to go for the rag play. Where I you guess just, you yeah, go you, for you it. You have to. It's like a 50 50 that 50 you just 50. Win. You kill a giant or to or win, win the game. So I guess that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you win or you win one turn later. <laughs> like, so you have two choices. <laughs> I, think, yeah, yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like that's a really okay turn. So let's see if it takes 75, 80, 85, we should or have a 89 seconds. We should have a timer. Yeah, for the turn, like I really every single time. Like it should be implemented to the interface. On the interface, yeah. You yeah. have like the rope when it starts. You have like the timer going down. I would really love to see statistics of each player's game, like a median of each game for each player. Like how long it takes for Life Coach to finish a game, an example. Yeah. And how long it takes Chucky to finish a game. That would be perfect. Like Chucky would be at the top with a timer of average one or minute, dog. two seconds. Dog plays so fast. Yeah. And uh, so uh, what what happens? Rose did not so take it sniped it. the sniped the molten giant, right? Yeah. Wait, what if, what if, what if rag? Well, kills the rag. Rag and the rag, and life coach has two dark bombs in his deck mm. and, and hellfire okay. and second defender Vargas. So okay, like five yeah, outs. Yeah, there's like five outs out of this. Four yes. outs, sorry, four outs. Nah, it's uh, it's not that bad then. What if he'll bought Dark Bomb Sun Fury? No, that's terrible. You died of health. <laughs> 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 what, what, about, what about you kill yourself? Uh, what a great line of play there. Actually, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> like, this is just not a good position for show. Get good. Get good, mate. What I'm curious about is if it all boiled down to that one turn where show didn't go all in on the trade. Yeah. With the giant. Yeah. Because yeah, I feel yeah. like that was like that a pivotal was, turn. That was the mistake. Oh, wow. He's going to go for it and die to Hellfire. I told you. No, he's not going to die. He's going to be just high enough on hell that he lives. But it's not really 16. winning the game at all. <sighs> well, that kind of sucks. Defender Vargas. That he would have been lethal. Yeah. So it's a good thing he actually went for the heal. So Hellfire into... Hellfire into... Giant, I giant. Say, well, uh, what about tap first? Tap first, please. What's for? Just to get one more card? But what if you die from like Arcane Golem, P.O.P.O.? Pew, pew. P.O.P.O. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew. Arcane Golem, pew, pew. I guess you could play Defender to be safe. Well, now you just play... I, I think I play Defender here every time. Really? Yeah, I'm afraid of like some wonky Arcane Golem shenanigan. What about anti killbot? It gets you on 20. So how much do you need from the Arcane Golem to kill you? A faceless, I would die to it, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah, like, I can't afford losing this game. And this puts my giant out of range of Rag as well. I guess um, show loses here. Maybe not. How come? You never know. Maybe life will just connect. He will snipe the Molten Giant for sure. Yeah, great plays. Actually, if he kills Rag... Whoa! Okay. So he lives. <laughs> okay. He lives. He lives. What? So tap first. This should not. Ha this should not be happening. As we, I can't believe this game has gone on as long as it has. Yeah. This is pretty. It cool. should have. It should have been over like two over turns ago. two turns ago. Three. You All have right. still two dark bombs, so you tap. Yeah, you, you try to find that one. An before. owl, shadow flame. Does uh, it help? Yeah, with the giant. Yeah, with the giant does help. Goodbye, Ragnaros. You will not be remembered. Which, uh, which of those rags was the real Fire Lord? I have no idea. Yeah, it's hard to pinpoint it, right? Yeah, and uh, then also you, you can play Major Domo, get an additional one with a bigger picture. 
So who's the real Raya? I have no idea. It's like the mystery of Hudson. Yeah. Too no. many Ragnaroses. I don't I don't understand this game anymore. Yep. I thought I did. So three one, three one. for life coach. Three one um, for life coach and he lost one game. The first game I believe was because he misplayed. Yes, the first game he played uh, against the Mech Mage was a huge misplay. He made a mm -hmm. huge misplay, which cost him the game. I think otherwise he might have been able to win. He, we felt like he had the game in his, uh, in his pocket, but yeah. it just slipped away from him after the misplay. And now he's down to his warrior deck. So he's going to play again with that deck, and he, he has needs to redeem to win. yourself. Like, he needs to win against you know, one deck from Sho. Sho has three decks to go through again, mm -hmm. um, one of which is Handlock. Handlock against Grim Patron is okay. Yeah, it's tough for Grim Patron, unfortunately. Like Grim Patron is gonna have like Life Coach is gonna have a hard time beating the Handlock unless there's a really good frothing. Yeah. This is usually frothing into tin for let's say crew taskmaster execute. Yeah. For definitely. the Twilight Drake or for a um, giant. Giant. Then you go phase with the Frothing Berserk and then next then you play Acolyte of Pain, double Whirlwind. Yeah, some card draw. And you usually yeah. win at the point. Yeah, it's just a matter of getting like a really good early burst. If you yeah. don't find that mid game, yeah. like early mid game, early burst, like you just you can't get it done. Um, and what's interesting is, it's not a matchup that I like. Usually against a deck that's very control heavy, like Handlock, if you can take your time, you can win. Like against control, you have a good matchup because like Priest has no proactive play style. But Handlock, it's control heavy. It's mm -hmm. pretty slow mm -hmm. to start. But once it gets started, you can't stop it. Like there's, they just pound you with a four drop, five drop, six drop on curve. So after turn four, you're just out of the game unless you've yep. been able to handle the early very well. The usual power draw from handlock. So Twilight Drake, Twilight Drake, Montan yeah. Ryan, Montan Ryan, kind of kills you. Yeah, like when, when you get that, it's just almost impossible. Yeah. There's no silences for the Twilight Drake, so you have to use executes for that. If you use executes for that, then you have no answer to the giant. And the giant just pushes you into the ground yeah. with his fist. I wonder if we'll see a, like a variant of uh, Grim Patron with silences. That what do you I need that for? I don't, I don't think that's needed. Belcher, perhaps. Well, um, you kill the Belcher with the Death Spite and, get and, the slime and the slime doesn't yeah. really do anything. It's just, it's just I keep wondering what the final form, <laughs> the final <laughs> form of Grim Patron will be like. It's in not two even weeks. my final form because <laughs> yeah, like, we'll I have unstable like. goals. Right. Yeah. Um, which is also pretty weak against Handlock. Yeah, yeah, very, very weak card uh, against Anlock. So we'll see what Life Coach like ends up fighting. Show hasn't picked up the deck that he wants. In the meantime, I just want to remind you: if you guys want to, you know, get your text seen on the screen on the stream, you can just type hashtag Kingwin League before a message, and it will show up live on stream. And people may be able to read your uh, glorious messages of Kappa Kappa, Kipo Kappa dance game, Kipo Kappa, Pork Trump. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good. And also, you can type exclamation mark packs. To win packs. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> solid. You saw that segue? Like, we just threw the ball <laughs> off each other. That was like sick. Best castles <laughs> you. We need to do a bottle you. pass one day. Like, just yeah, it, it would be sick here. Yeah. It was <laughs> like, <laughs> pass me the bottle, please. <laughs> We're so easy, though. Um, <laughs> all right, so it's going to be Warlock for show up next. We're going to have Warrior versus Warlock. As, as I said, you know, Handlock is going to be a very difficult matchup for Life Coach. If he pulls that off, it's going to be like redemption from the first game, perhaps. Because that's a really difficult matchup. Yeah. It's very satisfying to win a Grim Patron match yeah. against a ha handlock. It kind of feels the same like y you play a handlock and face a face hunter. Yeah. And, and you're like, oh, you won. I remember, what, who was it? D2, I believe. I was casting a game of his. He was playing f like just post GVG handlock mm -hmm. versus the most aggressive hunter deck, like just a face hunter. And he just got, like the, the hunter had the perfect curve. And then somehow Hunter has zero cards, as they usually do, and he just kept getting anti kill bot, anti kill bot. <laughs> Farseer, Farseer is like, yes, <laughs> redemption. And this is kind of how it feels when you do win yep. against uh, Handlock as Grim Patron. It's got that. Uh, it shouldn't be happening, but it is. Sometimes unfortunate. Yeah. Sometimes lucky. Never lucky. Baby. Lucky. Sometimes lucky. Bad. Yeah. So um, we'll see that Life Coach, well, of course, will play Warrior, and Sho will go with his Handlock. So the yeah. best matchup, I would say. I think Sho has a really good chance of at least going 3-2. Mm -hmm. like, this, mm -hmm. this is probably a game he's going to take, um, unless things go awfully wrong. And after that, like, he's won already with his, uh, his mage, so he's got Warrior and Hunter left. So there could be, well, there will be. The Hunter is the weakness now. Yeah. Well, I, I think Grim Patron does well against Hunter. Yeah, against face. Yeah, hunter. exactly. Yeah, like yeah. very, very well against Hunter. But then, Grim Patron versus Grim Patron. 
depends on the draws. Let's flip the ghouls. Like, it's all about <laughs> who plays the ghouls first and gets punished for it. All right. Well, we're into the game right now. We see that the starting hand from Life Coach doesn't really look as draw heavy as he wanted to. I wanted to ask if he, he kept in Battle Rage, but I guess, I guess yeah. he kept it. Y uh, yeah, you do need the card draw very fast. I feel like it's not needed at all. You need the, the minion, like the Prodding Berserker. That's like the most important part. Yeah, and he got that though. He got one yeah, I know, off I know, the mulligan, luckily. I he feel didn't like have it in starting. But that's something so important. Oh man, two Hellfires in Sho's hand. I can't really emphasize how important that is. But Life Coach has weapons, which is also crucial. Like, you just use the weapon for phase damage. Yeah. That's kind it. of like the old school Aggro Warrior. Yeah, kinda, kinda. I remember that. Oh, man. Can't stop Heroic Strike. Well, you can play Ghoul now. It's also not bad. So you play Ghoul, Frodding Berserker next. Yeah. I guess that's not well, that bad. Well, that sucks. No, 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 wait. That now. sucks. Hellfire just punishes you so hard. Yeah, if you play the Ghoul and, and the Frodding Berserker, then everything dies to Hellfire. Yeah, it's, so not, it's, it's really not a good idea. It's really, it's really awful. Life tap to the bank. To Emperor Thorson. <laughs> I guess Frozen Berserker would be the play here. I actually like it. It's only weak to Dark Bomb Coil. So maybe he wants to wait for a really sick charge play. I guess Life Card has different strategy than me in this matchup. I'm like all in. Right away? Like all in right away. I think RDU played it the same way last time and just got punished so hard for yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It, it can be punished, but if you play the longer game, yeah. you're likely to get more punished. I mean, the chances of being punished are, m are higher. Because higher, yeah. higher. you won't get through the taunts. Yeah. There's, no, There's way. no way you can get through taunts. Yeah. Like, the only option to get through taunts is to keep the executes only for the taunts. You can't use those, those earlier else, on. Yeah. And you have to face damage anyway. So what you're saying is hit it very hard and very fast. Yeah. Okay. It's like throwing Berserker for 14 to 10. Whoa. Okay. No Molten Giants, please. <laughs> and, and you go from that. Yeah, if you, find, if you get lucky and the Warlock just misses completely. Yeah. It's possible. And you can just, you know, y if you have an aggressive opening, then just punish, punish Warlock for that. Now he has to play the Frozen Berserker. Yeah, I think now it's almost a mandatory play. Do you... He is thinking about attacking with the Armo Smith. No, attacking with the Armo Smith to the Defender, of, uh, I mean to the uh, Sunfear Protector. Then, I mean, f pl first he played the Frozen Berserker. Then, then you attack Armo Smith. Value? Yeah, Armo Smith yeah, no. to the uh, Defender. Then you attack into the Defender, kill it, and coin out Battle Rage to draw two cards and buff your Frozen Berserker, Berserker to 5-4. Yeah, I think that's actually a really nice line of play. It's pretty straightforward, but it doesn't get punished very hard here. Like, Sho's going to have to play Hellfire Coil, um, and that's going to give you a bit of armor, so you really don't mind overall. Yep. It's a pretty good trade. So, Frothing, yeah, first now you go into the Defender, right? Yeah, I think yes. so. Yes. It is definitely the perfect line of play. And if the Frothing somehow lives, you have a sick outcome next round. I guess it will be met with a silence from Sho. Does he have coil? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, 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 never mind. That's the m way better. The problem is he will use one hellfire. Yeah, one of them on a non-great patron board. Yep. Dang. It's like I'm stronger. Nope. Okay, uh, so now what Life Coach has to do, I think, is to play the second Frontier Berserker. Wait, what, what's your line of play? I guess you have to set up the Death Spike 2, so you might also play... No, you don't have to. There's few options here. You can also play um, Battle Ray just for one card draw and put the Frontier Berserker out. Afterwards, you have the one execute so you can deal with the first big threat that will be going down to the board. Hmm. Other thing you can do is play the unstable goal. Alright, so I mean, I don't really know what you can do with a board like this. 
because everything you play is going to get removed. Like, you can't play anything on its own, because it That's won't accomplish anything. That's why it's so anything. difficult when it comes to later turns, you know? Yeah, you have no follow-ups that are amazing, so he's going to have to hope that he finds exactly the uh, AoE cards that he wants. Like, he needs to find the, the charge minion. Yeah. Like, Warsong Commander is his ticket to the, the victory here, I think. If he even could get it. You know, still, uh, Show's got a pretty decent board. Like, possibly, if he wants to go for the antique hillbot and then start taunting up. He's got Dr. Boom on the back end. Mm -hmm. Which can be both good and bad, depending on how you look at it. But still Warsong six. Commander is Life Coach's only way to win. Yeah. Nothing else will do the job here. That is not it. That's definitely not it. Well, you can trigger the next battle rage. So if you go... Could you go for the Armorsmith Ghoul attack battle rage for three cards? I think you have to. In oh, this situation, man. you have to. All right, I guess you, you at, least, at least you bait out the second Hellfire if it's there. So that's one other thing. Like, it Why does would bait you bait out, out the Hellfire for Ghoul and Armor Smith. That's not enough to bait a Hellfire. Yeah, but like if you set it up, the, they, they won't Hellfire too many, those two minions together. But the Ghoul is threatening for a Warlock who's expecting you to drop a combo soon. Um, that can be pretty dangerous, I think. He, they wouldn't Hellfire necessarily this turn, but they're, they're going to be... Maybe you're right. Uh, ...having to deal with it. Maybe you're right, yeah. We'll have to see. Maybe I'm paranoid about the uh, one damage AoE from Warriors when I play against them. Well... He can't, he can't drop the Warsong Commander next turn with Patron anyway. So the no, it's with Frothing that's dangerous. It's not even the... Uh... He drops the Patron now. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. It's the best time you're ever going to get, because now you want to kill with Frothing if you ever do. And, yeah, I mean, there's no well, other time for Honestly, I don't like this at all. It's, like, an, it's I almost have... unwinnable. <laughs> you can't charge it for value against Handlock. Yeah. Well, you can't, it's, it's just, it never works. But I guess that's um, when you get to this point of this game between Green Patron and Handlock, you just have no option to win. Yeah, it's the biggest problem that li the, not Life Coach, but the Green Patron has against Handlock is they can't enable the Green Patrons any other way than themselves, and that's just not really mm -hmm. very functional. So they have to rely on frauding, and that's about it. I mean, they need to have a bad matchup. It's like, is there, there one... Uh, it's not necess heal? necessarily bad if you just played, like, Face Hunter. What do you mean? If you just go full face yeah, with full the weapons? Yeah, full face with everything. <laughs> weapons deal damage. Hey, Shaki, come on. Calm <laughs> down. Come on, Shaki. But that's, that's usually w w how you win with yeah, Mirror. In, like, when you play Mirror Match, sometimes you just don't play the long game. You, 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 you just go aggressive warrior, you know? You stick the weapons to the head. I think it, it, I understand what you're saying. I do. Oh wow, that's probably a decent shadow flame. Mm, what about the emperor now? Yeah, I think emperor is. Emperor very silence the acolyte. Where? Yeah, where are you scared of um, the acolyte here if it doesn't draw right? Like it doesn't. I mean, battle rage number two is like a really scary prospect, but you've already seen one. So it's unlikely. Yeah. He played Grim Patron But on Life Coach own. fought the same about the Hellfire. Right. I see one. <laughs> yeah, I've seen one. Maybe he doesn't have a second one. No. Not playing Dr. Balanced on this. So many Just not at all. Hmm. Yeah, he's gonna go for the Emperor play. Emperor Owl is definitely the best play here. That does give the Life Coach the opportunity one. to play with Battle Rage, though. Like, it really does. He gets a good Execute, a good Battle Rage. If he finds the, what's his name, Warsong Commander, he also gets a decent Burst. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty costly, though. Second Execute. Well, you no, have to, question to is get your is value out of the Battle Rage first. I guess you play Frothing Berserker. Do you now? Well, before finding Warsong, your only win condition is the frothing you have right now. You saw double hellfire, so if, you, if he doesn't get anything more... So you have to execute all the minions on the board. Like, you, you have to attack into the uh, Emperor, and then execute, execute, Watcher, and the other one for Shadow Flame. Guess so. And you just hope that you find Slam. what you need. 
That's Whoa, fine. that's actually really nice for him. Second Grim Patron, but there's no Warzone Commander yet. Yeah, but it, it might come around. It's not too. F it, it, there's a possibility. And as soon as he does find it, this will change. Well, a lot now of he things. has to play the second Acolyte of Pain, I think. So, what about you set up Death Bite? I think that may be a bit more. Uh... Well, yeah, ma yeah, yeah. Death Bite is better. The problem is. He will have to deal with two minions that will be ha that will have taunt next turn. Yeah, but with a double execute, it's much more manageable. Oh man, life coach could pull this off. It's still possible that the, the frothing berserker is able to win the game. What? I didn't understand that at all. You thought it was going face? Yeah, because you have two executes. He already has the execute for that one. Yeah. You will you will kill the. The town attention to watcher with a weapon. Yeah, it would have still died to the uh, yeah. to the death bite on it, and then you could execute two other big minions if needed. I think uh, I think going face here might have been the best play though. Like I, I thought his trading made sense, but that last one was like bit, if uh, if the handlock wouldn't have any town any taunters, right? Yeah. Then you just deal eight damage with your weapon to the face. Yeah, it's no problem. So you might win next turn mm -hmm. because you will have a frozen berserker on board. Yeah, but I think without war song he doesn't want to risk it, which is. Like preventing the all-in because there's a chance that I, I think this is a situation where he had to go all-in, but he didn't. So what about um, Ragnaros now? That Rag? Uh oh, whoa! I'm whoa! From I would his be scared to hell if I did. From this. his perspective, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. I I would be scared to hell. He would be dead now, right? Yeah, he would. He be would dead. Be have He would dead. actually be dead if uh, if, if he would hit coach, face. If life coach had gone face with the weapon, this would be game. <laughs> yeah, this would actually be game right now. Oh. Uh. So now the question that has to be asked is: Is Grim Patron Acolyte attack phase to play? I guess that's the only option for life coach now. Yeah. But I strongly disagree with doing that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's already uh, it's too late. It's too late to agree, Lothar. Oh, Again, a very complex deck with multiple lines of decision that you have to make, and there is no one playstyle. The problem is that it's a very fine line that you're walking when you're playing this deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very fine line. At least Rag is gonna die to the. But what if you attack Rag? With his weapon. <laughs> What's your reaction then, Lothar? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Uh... It's now. Show will have to drop the ancient water shadow flame. It. Yeah, I mean, there's still a chance that life coach. Pulls well, off. life coach would would have won this game. And well, maybe Tass doesn't even win now. Like, Wait, it's so close. Would show made the same play if there would be an ancient water on board? Maybe he would just pound it up. Yeah, but still, that would have been execute attack phase win. No, no, he would ha he would lack for damage then. You mean the other the Ancient Watcher would have been played instead? Because he already had an, a damaged Ancient. Oh yeah, right. It was damaged, so he could have just executed yeah, it all. Yeah, so de <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Definitely misplay by Life Coach by killing so the Ancient Watcher. You would say so far from the Mech Mage play uh, and the Warlock play that there's still a bit of refinement maybe to do... Uh, I think Life Coach has just not enough experience with the deck yeah. yet. It, it's... Um, I think it's a common um, common thing when you watch players playing a new deck. They play too safe. Very safe. Yeah, they tend to not like. It's like if you give handlock to a new player mm -hmm. that's never played it. He yeah. never goes offensive yeah. with the giants. Never yeah. just goes for the punch face and ignore the board because yeah. it's like you're trying to go for the value, but it's not always the right way to go when you're yeah. playing that deck. And you, we have seen that with life coach now for a few turns. Every and this, time he trades, yeah. Every time he trades, his trades are just like basically really weak when it comes to board state like it doesn't really achieve much because you don't risk much yeah and you f you're the deck that deals damage and you don't deal the damage yeah you, you're gonna get punished for that every single yeah. time and life coach finds the whirlwind which is going to allow him to get a good grom execute that's 10 damage to the face right there and uh there's a bgh of course uh, I think this is the turn when you play um, Gnomish, Gnomish Inventor. With Fire War Axe and Gnomish Inventor, the... Fire War Axe, there's one Molten Giant, so you just go face. Actually, there's more than a Molten. There's a, I mean, not a Molten, but like in the Life Coach's deck, if he finds the Warsong Commander, could there still be a win with I Frogging? think so. So you have to dig for the card right now. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. That's the Warsome Commander. Okay, so now if you go to phase with the Fury War X, you can go wait, 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 wait. One execute. So if you if show will turn up two minions, and this is most likely the event that will happen, right? Yeah. You have execute for one, and you have to deal with somehow with a second minion, which will be probably a only a four four, maybe a three three. Well, no, he has to have like four four HP. If he drops a Doctor Boom, he can't taunt up the Molten Giant and Doctor Boom. Yeah, he has to taunt up one of the little bombs, which yeah. is not amazing. So I guess this is still winnable. Never mind. Never mind that. Okay, that that definitely just does change things. I think you just like drop it and taunt yeah, it up. That's it. That's like, it. You just forget about it. And you go I mean, what for what nine. what could Grand Patron attack? You've seen one execute, which is the biggest thing, the yeah. only thing, in fact. I am starting to wonder if maybe playing one crush in Grand Patron wouldn't be worth it. Nah. Did you try it? Because I had the. No, I, I think it just sucks. It's early on. such a huge tempo loss. At three mana, it's actually more manageable, mm. but it's still really costly. Ah. Most of the time, you'd rather play BGH, um, or just an owl for silence. Yeah, I would have been would have been much better, I think. He taps. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, he's gonna go for the Argus play. Uh, is the sleeper now? That actually gives Life Coach a wait, chance wait, wait, wait. to win this. How, how much it, damage does he is win? That? Oh man, we're so bad at mathematics. What is Grim Patron? Warson Commander, Throating Berserker. Yeah. Whirlwind. Second Warson Commander. Uh, no, you can't. No, you can't because yeah. you don't have mana for execute. Right. So it's only Not you enough. play two minions, yeah. so you get plus six. So you play, then you yeah. you got eight, you got ten. So you have to find. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, wait. Ten. It. You got twelve. You got fourteen damage. Yeah. Seventeen damage. No, fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. So you have four of lethal. Yeah, you need to find the the Grom to survive next turn, and the opponent needs to not heal. Um, or, or not taunt, up. or like do anything. He has to pass and just give you the game. No, he has to go for all in now. You have to play. Oh, wait, is he considering Grom Whirlwind Execute? This might actually be a decent play. Why would that be no? better? No, I don't think so. Because next turn he can play the Frothing again by just trading his board away. But it's just so like Warsaw he doesn't accomplish anything. Like you have still in the rage on your deck. So Gromash ha has yeah, the ability to deal damage, 12 with just one card. So this is way better. Yeah. As long as Life Coach drags the cards fast enough before the rope shows. Like, if you know enough about Hearthstone at this point, you know that when the minion is green, you have to act right away. Full board clear and a little bit of damage missing. No, it's not. It didn't miss. It's actually okay. I no, I know, counted. not the yeah, not yeah. the frothing, but like uh, just a little bit of damage missing before he gets the kill. So now Sludge Belcher has to be played With and Dark Bomb. And Dark Bomb, yeah. And then does Life Coach has lethal next way? There's no way he has lethal next turn. Actually, do you even? Yeah, I was gonna say, do you even uh, play that or do you Jaraxxus to trade? Now this could. Be now it can be lethal. It, it could. That's be. the only out that to give Life Coach lethal now. Yeah, George Cruel Taskmaster. Or Inner Rage inner in this rage. game. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh my why, god. Why would you do that? Dread Corsair, not enough. A little bit of damage though, but, but not But still, quite. you play Warson Commander and, uh, and Corsair deal 5 damage to the face. Yeah. But th I didn't understand the directions at all. Well, I guess he didn't want to play a Sludge Belcher. I can't really understand why. I thought uh, there was a good play with Dark Bomb, BGH, yeah. and Belcher. Like, it was very safe. And you could play Draxxus You afterwards. saw two patrons yeah. and two Frothing Berserkers already. Exactly. The only out he's got is Grom, and you're giving it to him by playing into Draxxus. Yeah. Because your health is too low. You well, didn't see any Taskmaster yet. Nope, none. Right? Not yet. Not that I remember, no. There was none. And no played. Inner Rages. Nope, ni neither. That was really weird. I wonder what Show was scared of or confident about, it, rather. And now Show's got no healing left. He's played two, uh, two heal bots, if I recall. So he has to top deck a taunt. And that's not it. He only has the Belcher now. Yeah. The Bel and it's going to have to be like Drake Belcher, that's it. 
That's all he well, knows. No, no, like, you, rather infernal you, Rather infernal, rather. infernal, yeah. And he takes three, that, that's, wow. Wait, that's so... This is just not even... He's so close to winning. Like, Life Coach is this close to winning. It's just insane. But he has no option of lethaling now. No, no, not now. He doesn't have it yet. There's a Cruel Taskmaster, one turn too late. So, you can... Actually, the charge goes on the Cruel Task. Oh, yeah, right. That's right. Cruel Task does get charge off of this. So you play Grom, you Cruel Taskmaster Grom. I... This no, you're one of lethal. You're, you're one, one of lethal. lethal no matter what you do. Wait. One of lethal. That's it. Okay, what if you Cruel Tasker Wasong? And then you attack... No, no that no. makes no sense. You're one of lethal every single possibility. Yeah, single possibility. every single possibility is always one off. In what I can look at. Wait, what if you attack Grom into the Belcher, then you cruel task the Belcher, and then, then you're you one of lethal. You're still one off. But you have like 17 minions. You have like your Grom is very little damage, mm -hmm, and you have 17 mm -hmm. minions on the board. Yeah, uh, that's a, that's the correct play. Maybe not 17, but you know you get. Yeah, yeah, you I get you. you, I get you. You catch my drift. I catch, I catch your drift. Yeah, you're, you're good at catching drifts, mate. And the uh, life coach goes for exactly that. He's not gonna get punished by the sludge belcher's slow. Uh... Okay, so now this is the turn. Oh, oh my God! The card. The Mortal life strike coach. for the win. Huh? Mortal strike for the win. <laughs> <laughs> what if he finds? What could he find ever? Is there even a card? I don't think there's a card. Yeah, I, I don't think so either. There's no more executes. No silences. Oh man. Well, he does have another uh, defender, I think, unless he only plays the one. Both players misplayed this game so much. <laughs> but one of them's gonna win it, so. Oh, God. I'm looking at this one off lethal. Life coach is considering the options, but he knows deep down there's no way to get out of this one. <laughs> kind of hilarious to watch games like that. And he concedes. Well, I, I, I wouldn't say this one was, like, easily seen. Like, it was a lot more... The other one was uh, mostly because it was a bit... Like, I, I think really what it came down to is the, um, the Warrior and Mech Mage was a misplay. The Handlock one was just a really difficult matchup. Like, it was really the, big, the worst one. Um, so I, I'm really curious to know if the next match with Life Coach, because he still has to go through two more decks from show. Uh, now that he's, you know, he's fallen to Warlock, he's fallen to Mage, there's still the Hunter left and the Warrior Mirror match. So if we see a Warrior Mirror match, um, literally Grim Patron versus Grim Patron, generally speaking, it comes down to not getting a bad start with the Whirlwinds. Yeah, uh, I wanted to go back for, for a second for the sure, go ahead. Uh, match between, you know, Hendok and... Grim Patron. Grim Patron, yes. I think it was an unfavorable matchup, but Life Coach had the means to make the, the matchup actually favorable for him. He had the early game, he had the weapons, he had the options to buff his Throwing Berserker yeah. at some point, and Sho gave him the option to actually win the game a few times. By playing a bit, maybe too aggressively and not defensively enough, I guess. Uh, with, the, with the Jaxus, yeah. yes. But then Life Coach played too defensively, and it just... The weapons didn't, didn't do damage to the face. It wasn't synchronized enough. It feels like when the opportunity was made, Life Coach didn't seize it, and then suddenly the opportunity was gone, and then he was trying to climb back into another one, then he got another one, and then he you know, didn't take it. Uh, yeah. But th that leads me to believe that maybe he wasn't looking to make those opportunities. I think it's just the, the, the matter happened. of Adrian being not experienced enough in this matchup. Right. For, uh, I, I take it from my point of view. When I was playing against uh, Handlock with Grim Patron, I took like four beatings before I, 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 think I, I took the, the grasp yeah. of how, the, how yeah. the matchup should work. And it's like, yeah, it's smoke. It's yeah. smoke. <laughs> it's always smoke. You just go full face. Well, it's yeah. like the old uh, aggro warrior against... Yeah, uh, it's very well, similar. Like, you just punch face, and if they taunt up, well, you hope you have the execute. If you don't, well, that's yeah. too bad. But the executes yeah. here have the same meaning as um, owls. Yeah. In the aggro deck, in the aggro warrior, because there were no executes, but you had two hours, two yeah. hours. So that was the same, actually. 
I wonder if you could make this deck without Armorsmith, but you put the Owls uh, to make the matchup better against Control, perhaps. I will try that. Yeah, <laughs> you should try that against Control. I'd be curious to see what the result is. So Warrior versus Hunter is going to be the next one. Show is going to be unfavored, I would say, generally speaking. Life yes. Coach has a better matchup there, but it's interesting that Show opts for the uh, Face Hunter that we saw earlier, as opposed to the Mirror Match. I would think that he would take the 50-50 mm -hmm, instead mm -hmm. of a 60-40, let's say. Let's say no. I kind of agree, but well, he has to win with everything anyway in conquest. So he has to win with his hunter. Like he has to win hunter warrior anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we'll see in a second. Like yeah. this is three two for life coach for now, and if it's four two or three four, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter yeah. for show how it ends as long as he yeah. gets the wins with everything mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. it's conquest. So maybe he's just getting the hunter out of the way. Yeah, that's true. All right. Double Leper Gnome and Glaive Zuka start. I would say that's kind of That's God. That's the God draw. On the coin here, Double Leper Gnome with Glaive Zuka into Animal yeah. Companion doesn't get better. And there is no Whirlwind in Life Coach's hand at the moment. But what Life Coach has to draw here is Unstable Ghoul, yeah. Inner Rages, Whirlwind, Taskmasters. Those are going to be the only way he yeah. really likes I don't even know game. if he plays Inner Rages. I haven't seen any. I think he might play the ghouls instead, which is Did something that Did we see any Green Pattern see. Warriors with Inner Rages? Yeah, we saw one. I saw, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You do see it, but I think it's a card that gets cut at least a one of. In I love decks. the Inner Rage. Yeah. It's, it's so powerful. I think it's one of the best tools you have. Oh, man, this start from show. You know, we did say it was unfavored, but maybe Noxious and Lothar are With such explosive opening. This reminds me of the bring out your dead, I feel icky openers, but that kinda, was kinda. a nightmare. So, I guess, Whirlwind? Nope. Yeah, he's just never felt uh, ickier. Wow, that's awful. He has take to another get 8 six, damage yeah. from the Leper Gnomes. Wait, that's 4? That's, yeah. that's 10 damage. Another, yeah, he's going to take another 5 from that one. Like another 6, that is, with the Glaive Zuka. Easy life. Now he has to draw a Taskmaster or Ender Rage. Yeah, Armor Smith would probably help a bit eventually, but for now this is not looking good. Oh, this is great. wow, I didn't really consider that card. Yeah, this is pretty solid. So you play Dread Corsair, you kill the Leper Gnome with the weapon and armor up. Yeah, that is really good. But you're still, it's turn free and you will have a 18 damage. I mean, 18 life. But I don't you, think that's a good You can compensate position. some of the the damage you're taking. Like, if you're... You can't really afford to play slowly, obviously. Um, yeah. But that Dread Corsair is a really good card. It's better, I think, than maybe Cruel Task. Because it forces a re-weapon on the opponent's side. So there's two damage wasted. I, I think it's just uh, Animal Companion, you know? If it's a... Nisha, it's okay. If it's a Huffer, you trade it. No hard feelings there. Yeah. And, and then Leoc Leoc is the only bad, Because yeah, Death's Bite comes out yeah. and... I guess. Yeah, it's a 66% chance to be decent. Mm -hmm. Life Coach is going to race. And, get the, and he's going to get the Corsair next turn with the Dread, the Death Bite. Mm. Well, okay, now he kind of changed his strategy for the last game. Yeah, he just went the complete opposite of what he did last game. Yeah. There's uh, the Misha. That's still fine. Death Bite takes care of it. And uh, actually, wait, he might just die to skill command. No, no, there's no, no, there's no way he will die this turn. But yeah, but it's close. It's really dangerous, and I think Life Coach is good. It, he's gonna race next turn. Is where he starts armoring up every turn. Like this is where he starts just armoring up the armor. when you're at ten doesn't really help so much, you know. Yeah, but it, it is when you have the uh, the frothing on the board. It does help a bit, and now so Show is the one in the explosive bad trap hero power. With the frothing on board, you, ha you kind of have to, but it's... You have to, because yeah. uh, uh, next thing you, you just play Unleash the Hounds, and yeah. that's it. Or you play Bow now to get a charge afterwards. I don't like that. And you reduce the amount of damage uh, that comes your way, maybe. To be honest, I don't like that. You squeeze more damage with uh, Explosive Trap, Hero Power. Because next thing you have Unleash the Hounds, Hero Power. I feel that's, that's way better. So what do you, if you're here, like in Life Coach's position, what do you play? Warson Commander yeah. into Crew Taskmaster into Race. Does Show find Lethal afterwards? Or Acolyte of Pain Armor up? No, I like your play a lot. 
I think it's actually really if you solid. Want the only problem with that play is that Explosive Trap just ruins you, and you can't win. Like, you just lose your entire board to it. So I think maybe Acolyte of Pain and Armor Up is a mm -hmm. bit safer, as you, uh, you were going to say. So I wonder what he's uh, hoping to find. Second Whoa. Ruined. No, no, you, you can't use it now. You can't use Cruel Task now, I don't think. And Whirlwind either. No, right? you have to Armor Up now. There's no other way. Like, Battle Rage doesn't, doesn't do anything. I think he might win next turn. If the, the, the frothing lives. No, no, there's no way the frothing lives because that yeah, would be he's gonna unleash kill the house. Unleash, for sure, yeah. unleash the house into explosive trap, and that's it. Yeah, he's hoping that it's gonna work, though. But... Abuse of Sergeant. Now that's great, too. Life Coach has no way of dealing 12 damage yeah, now. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is like, there's no way he can race at this point. Mm -hmm. Even the weapons won't do it, because he still takes too much phase damage from the, the clock of the hero yeah. power. Unleash the Hounds, hero power. Best. No, what, I, what I'm talking about. Oh. Wow. I didn't see that coming at all. And I have to say, I'm not sure I'm okay with it. I feel it's really weak. Yeah, I think this is the way you lose this the is, game. Yeah, this is, this is how you lose the game. Oh, and look, that's 6 damage. Wow, life coach finding the card. So now you crew taskmaster. Yeah, get a card, why not, you know? Get you a deal bit of damage. You deal to the additional in. damage. Yeah. So you only lack 3 damage. And yeah. you have your, um, your Warsome Commander already in hand, so you go... Crew Taskmaster, draw a card, yeah. see what it is, never mind what it is, I'm At rough. Yeah, attack phase. Attack phase yeah. with your Warrex. Of course. There's never no mind what it is. <laughs> never yeah. mind what it is. That sounds like a pretty hunter thing to say, mate. <laughs> it <laughs> feels <laughs> like so. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, wow. wait, 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 wait. Scratch that. Are you sure? I'm not sure I scratched that. It's great against Unleashed Hounds. Yeah, I still don't scratch it. Well, okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so I'm not gonna scratch that ghoul. I'm sorry. The ghoul is great also with Warsome Commander next turn. Yeah, and that's a whiff. It, it's one that's damage. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That's the mark. Let's do this, guys. I believe. I think the kill command play from Show was not very not very well done. Yeah, I'm not too <laughs> sure about that one. <laughs> I would say that was that was the throw. Maybe like, it was. I don't know. I just feel like it it's was still really close. Weak. But if Life Coach now draws, let's say Armor Smith. Yeah. That's GG. That's GG. There's no way you can win now. Well, I mean, you said things like these, but... It comes down to getting the damage in for Life Coach at this point, which he doesn't have. Again, no hero power being weaved in from Show. That's a really huge weakness. Um, I guess you can Battle Rage now? No, I think I try to find the, the minion to kill the opponent with. Oh, so attack first. Yeah, I think I would. Attack first. What what minion wins you the game? Um, Second, um, Dread Corsair. That would win it. And um, Frothing doesn't. Actually, yeah, it does with Whirlwind. Yeah, Frothing or the Frothing Second or Dread. Second Dread Corsair. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. Maybe a weapon to save you, but I I mean I don't know. Yeah, if you draw a weapon, then you just play the. Um, unstable ghoul armor, armor up, up yeah. and attack next turn. I think you try to set up lethal on the following turn. So life coach is gonna go for that and hope he finds frothing or the second dread course there if there is one. Battle rage, nope. What a whiff. Okay, so now we attack with the weapon. Yeah, there's no choice and life coach is gonna have to go all in on the taunts. I think you go war song unstable armor up. Yeah, I guess so. Oh. Oh, I can't oh, like this is actually yeah, yeah. better in yeah. this case. Never mind what yeah. the war song does. It's only but one. But you have more to damage. attack with the weapon and armor up. Yeah, he has to. And he's probably done it. I hope he didn't miss the turn. Yes. <laughs> okay. So this <laughs> is what's really tricky about Spectator Remote is you're not sure whether or not the turn went through. As Second expect, command. Ouch, that hurts. Not but that's quite not enough, lethal. Though. That's not lethal. Wait, uh, is it? It is? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. One off? One off No, no, the, the abusive does it, yeah. mate. Wait, what? 1 plus 5 plus 2. How much does that do? It's not but enough? You it's, kill it's one off? It's still one off, right? 
you get you kill the ghoul first. Yeah. Then you unstable. I then think he's yeah. You're right. He's one off. Then you play yeah. uh, unleash the hounds. That's one hound. Yeah. Then you have abuse three and eight. That's one off. Yeah. One off. One off. Jaraxxus and syndrome. <laughs> and life coach has three draws. Yeah. To right. win. Yeah. Without any battle rages first. So it's only from acolyte. I mean, Shaw has to try. Yeah, well, that's the only out here. Yeah. Like, there's nothing else to do. That first kill command was really weird, but I, I guess he had something in mind that I couldn't quite figure out. Ah, ah that's it. Yeah, good game. Rip in peace, Show. <laughs> Man, it's so weird when you watch the games when both players kind of play with... I, I feel like both players don't know the matchup. I don't know about that. I just feel like the way he addressed the frothing. Like, I understand killing the frothing. I totally understand that. Yeah, but, it's but the, the way, way he did it yeah. was a bit odd to me. It's like you, you didn't plan on killing the frothing the turn after. Yeah. But he wanted to do it instantly. Yeah. And I think giving it time to squeeze more damage in with the face hunter is how you win. Yeah. Against decks like that. Weave, yeah, exactly. Because at more. four mana, you deal four damage. Right? Yeah. Because you always, that was the, the turn four. You yeah. get more damage, but that doesn't really change anything. Because you will be dead anyway, right, uh, if you don't win the race. Yeah. And turn five, you go unleash the hounds, kill the Frothing Berserker, and go hero power. So that's, uh, that's additional free damage for five mana, and you deal with the Frothing Berserker. Yeah. So I guess that's okay, I, right? It's just that the, the way he looked at it is it's a huge threat if I don't kill it now. Which is true. Like, he would have taken a huge lot of damage um, right away. And I think this is... Those are really small plays. You know how like small edges that you mm -hmm. find in games mm -hmm. will usually carry you to the top um, of a specific playoff, for instance? These are the kind of plays that might do it. Uh, yeah. But the game, like the, the deck is so young that it's like those, those, tempo, those, those tempo plays, those small edges haven't quite been mapped out completely yet. Yeah, I guess so. Well, uh, that's the end of the game, right? Yeah, Life, Life Coach, Coach wins. Is, uh, four he's in the finals. Over show, so he's definitely going to the finals which just goes to show that his, his line so far in KPL has been a straight line to the top. Like, he went number one in his group, ended up directly in the semifinals, faced off against Show, had a pretty rusty start, and, like, the, the wins were good, but, like, some of the plays that he made with Grim Patreon showed, as you said, that he felt a little inexperienced, perhaps, uh, mm -hmm. with the deck. Mm -hmm. um, but either way, we're going to see him face off against Colento. the winner of the next, uh, the, the last, uh, the the last, last semifinals, Kalento. But we're going to have the third place match before we do that. Yeah, third place match first. So, Strive Crow against yeah. Show. Definitely. So, I, before we go on to the break, I just want to remind you, this is still a battle between the Horde and the Alliance. Life Coach was on the Horde. Show was on the Alliance. I lost that one. Um, if actually, you want to vote, you can go on Twitter yeah. and just type hashtag KPL Alliance if you want to vote for... Actually, I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm done. If you want to vote for the Alliance, do so. But it's going to be a gesture of sympathy and pity for me. Uh, if you want to vote for the Horde, which means Colento and Life Coach are going to be in the finals, yeah. then just keep hashtag KPL Horde, and that's going to move the meter a little bit to the Horde side. Uh, and hopefully you guys get... Well, I mean, you're going to get... If you go Horde, it's a guaranteed win. If you go with me, it's like, you're nice, right? <laughs> so just like, if you don't go with me, what I'm saying is, you're not very nice. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. I think. We're and with this accent, the, we are going to the break. This accent, yeah. I guess we are. <laughs> For the break. <laughs>